If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can leverage Model Context Protocol for JMeter. Model Context Protocol helps you to control your JMeter tests using a natural language processing. Before we dive deep into JMeter MCP, first we have to understand what is Model Context Protocol. I will add the relevant links in the description. Model Context Protocol was conceptualized by Anthropic. They brought this open protocol where it will help your MCP compliant client to interact with LLMs and also to take some meaningful actions. LLMs are generally pretty good in predicting the next word or token. But if you want to do some action on behalf of you, LLM doesn't know the context. That is where the MCP protocol comes into picture. So that you can tell LLMs to do certain actions by following this protocol. You can integrate, uh, for example, in this case, JMeter, and also you can integrate Slack, AWS. There are a lot of MCP integrations available as a part of a community contribution and also the official contribution. And if you scroll down, in this page, you can see the general architecture. Here you have the MCP client. It could be Cloud Desktop, it could be some IDE or some custom made tool. And you will have the MCP servers, which can talk to your local file system, or it can talk to some local tool, or it, it can reach the internet and you can, it can do some actions on behalf of you. This is a general architecture. Just to simplify it, I created this architecture diagram. Here on the left side, we have the uh, MCP compliant client. Uh, it could be, as I said, Cursor, Windsurf, Cloud Desktop. And inside this tool, you will have MCP uh, configurations. This MCP configuration, it could be something in your uh, local. You can run it, which we are going to see for JMeter. And also, it, it, it can reach something in the internet. So you have to just follow the instructions from the MCP provider. And then you have to just configure it in the right tool. Once the configuration is done, you will restart the, the client and then you can ask in the natural language processing to do some meaningful actions on behalf of you so that the LLM will look out for the tools and then it will uh, follow the action accordingly as per the design of the, the, of the tool and then it will perform the action on behalf of you. For example, you can ask, summarize your thread in Slack, for example, it, you can uh, you know, create some resource in AWS and so on. And also it could be possible to get some information about your local file system. Okay, how many files I have? What is the biggest uh, file size in my disk? Something like that. So that it will make use of the MCP protocol and then it will do the relevant action on behalf of you by using the LLMs. So this is the high level overview of MCP. We are not dive deeping into how to design MCP client or MCP server and all uh, that needs a separate you know playlist. But as we are going to focus on JMeter, uh, we can see how you can start with JMeter MCP. For that, you can just go to this repo, again, the link in the description, and you have to install a couple of things. So one is the UV package manager for Python, that because this particular MCP, I have built it using the Python SDK. So we need the UV you know, package manager and also you need to have the JMeter installed. You can check my the previous videos how to get started with JMeter and also you have to make sure you are changing the JMeter file into executable using the uh, chmod. And you need to copy paste the .env.example in your .env file so that you can configure the JMeter path, the JMeter bin and the other JMeter options. And once uh, the configuration is done, you have to configure the uh, MCP server. This is the MCP server. And then once the MCP server configuration is completed, then you need to uh, restart the client. Everything we are going to see it in a demo. Okay, now let us see how you can leverage Gmeter MCP in Windsurf. Once you installed Windsurf and launch the uh, open cascade here, and just below the chat box, uh, you will have the tools. Just click on this MCP tools icon. And as you see here, I have already configured JMeter. If you want to configure other MCP, you can do that. Now let us see, just click on configure here. 
to see the MCP server configuration for Jmeter. And click close. Now in this repo, I have the uh, sample uh, underscore test dot JMX here. Now let us run this particular test using the uh, MCP. Just normally just uh, inject the simple prompt, just run sample underscore test dot JMX and hit enter. Now what it will do is the MCP client will look out for the particular file and then it will look out for the respective MCP servers and if it is found anything you can see a MCP tool. This is where you can clearly see whether it is using the actual MCP tool or not. Now in our case yes it is using the MCP tool of Jmeter and then it will display the arguments. Just let us wait for a few minutes. Now once the test is done as you see here it is completed our test and with the results and also uh, it can automatically displays the the summary in this case our test has been executed with 798 samples and response time and response time range and duration so now you can ask some follow-up question okay what is uh, you know wrong with the response time range and if you hit enter it will automatically process and then it will check uh, you know any issues or recommendations, optimization techniques, etc., and then it automatically gives you the details. No need to upload any file for analysis, it will automatically you know displays everything. So this is how you can leverage uh, Jmeter uh, MCP to run your test using the LLMs. And please try this and let me know if you face any issues. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.